I'm a Mac guy. I have a Mac Mini right here, but I love this Mini PC by Ace Magic. It's a Windows Mini PC, and I'm gonna show you why. All right, welcome to the channel. And you know, obviously I'm a Mac channel, right? But I got sent something, and I wasn't gonna do a video on this, but then I started using it, and it's actually really good for the price. It's got a couple really cool features built into it as well. So let me share this with you, and you're gonna be, you know, number one surprised by the price of this, I guarantee that. Shocked by some of the features, and uh, we'll go from there. You tell me if I'm right at the end of the video, all right? So this is actually, it's right here, it's called the Ace Magic Mini PC, you can see it here. The model number on this is the AK1 Plus, AK1 Plus. Now the reason I love this thing is you can see the size of it, number one, it's way smaller than the Mac Mini. But the cool thing is, is this thing runs Windows, obviously, but the, the specs on this, number one. So it comes with 16 gigs of RAM, all right? 16 gigs, it's got an internal M.2 SATA drive in it, 512 gigabytes, so 512 gigabyte SATA M.2 SSD, but still fast, all right? And it's got the N95, let me just confirm that, it's got the N95 chip, the Intel N95 chip, which we'll get into in a second, and it comes with Windows 11 for free. And what's the cost of this thing? This is the incredible part, it's gonna get more incredible in a second. So here we go. On their website, it's $179 right now only. Windows costs like 100 and something by itself. This is 179, 16 gigs of RAM, the N95 chip, which we'll get into, and even an M.2 SSD in this thing, all right? And you can see it here. So that's gonna be on their website. On Amazon, it's $199 right now on sale. So a little bit of a difference there. I'll have links to both of those in the description, but still a really good deal for both, all right? So that's number one, that's number two. So a couple of things I love about this thing, and I'll get into kind of the little secret, there's a couple of little secrets in here, and we'll get into that in a second. First, let's go through the ports though. On the side over here, it's got, let me just see here, an on and off switch, then it's got USB 3.0, two of those, and one USB A 2.0. That's gonna be on the side over here for like adding like mice and stuff like I have, um, or a keyboard or something. And then on the back over here, it's got, a DC in, which is the power, it's got USB 2.0, then it's got an H two HDMI ports on it, which is great, that's how I'm connecting to my monitor over here. It's got a gigabit LAN, and then it's got a mic, and then kind of a Ken Kenningston lock on there as well. So the back of it's really cool. And the one thing it's missing is USB-C, but I use a US little teeny, not even a dongle, a little connector here. So I go from USB-C to USB-A, and it works perfectly for all my devices. So can't knock it for 179 bucks, all right? So there it is. So a couple other things in here. You can easily attach this. Now th this is the cool thing. So you can easily attach this to a back of a computer monitor like this or a TV or something. And I'll show you a picture of how you do that. But it comes with two parts here. And I'll show you close-ups as I'm talking about it. I filmed this earlier. But the, it's got these little kind of brackets that you can screw off. And then the back of it pops off, all right? And the hidden feature in this thing, if you look, and I'll show you some close-ups, is you can actually install another SSD in here on that second part. And you can install a 2.5 inch SSD of any size in there. I don't know exactly the limit. You'll have to do your own research on that. But I just put in you know, a, a terabyte one in there. But you can actually just install it in there. And then that thing actually connects to the actual computer through a kind of a USB-C port. It just connects in there and then you, you flip these little switches. So it, it's basically like another compartment that adds another SSD on this thing. So if you want to add a, a storage SSD or do you want to have it for just you know backups or something, you can just throw one in instantly without any, you know, there's not any like, there's two little screws you got to open up and you throw it in there and it's all ready to go. So not only does it have the M.2 SATA, but it comes with the ability to add your own 2.5 inch. Awesome. Now, you know, and obviously that's that's one thing. So here here is a screen I'll show you. This has got all the specs on it. So overall, it has, um, like I said, the N95 chip. Let's just see where it says it. I don't know where it says it here, but it does have the N95 chip. 16 gigs of RAM, DDR4, 512 gigabyte SSD there, Wi-Fi 5, Bluetooth 4.2. It's got the two HDMI ports, and we'll get into those in a second. It's got the base frequency of 1.7 up to 3.4 gigahertz. So uh, an awesome system, all right, for, for 179 bucks. I still can't believe I'm saying that, all right? So a couple other things it says is it's got the two HDMI ports, and the resolution can go up to 3840 by 2160. What I'm doing right here is not that I'm doing just 1080p, so that's not bad, but still I'm just showing you in 1080p, but it can go up to that you know higher resolution for sure. and. Uh, so far, so good. So what I typically do is when I look at CPUs and chips, I run, I go to, what is it, Passmark Software, it's a benchmarking place. And usually if they're above 2,500, you can get by with them. If they're 5,000, they're pretty snappy. 
And then up from there, you get into the huge Ryzen's. They can go up to 20, 30,000, mind you. This is the CPU scores. But in here, it's, it's scored in here in pass mark. It's 5463. You can see it right here. And it's a fairly new CPU from beginning of 2003. So there it is right there. So that's actually pretty impressive on a system this small. What does that mean, right? So that means basically, let's just scroll down to the bottom here. If you can compare it against other systems, here's the N95 up here, 5463. If you look down at like Ryzen 3, it's about 5800. So it's going to be like in the Ryzen 3 area, all right? Not the super fast, this is not a gaming machine, it's gonna be not for video editing, but for everything else, it works phenomenally, and I'll kind of explain that in a second. So the chip is actually solid, it's not one of those dirt slow chips, it can get stuff done. In fact, you know, when I open up browsers and stuff, um, let me just go back to the main search here. When you open up, here, here's basically, um, what is this, Edge, and you can see everything will load super quick in here. So browsing on the internet's flawless, let me just go ahead and click one, two, three on Amazon, you can see how fast this is. It just opens it up. Everything loads really quickly, images and everything. So I've had no, no problems on the internet. I mean, here's eBay, we'll click on that. Two seconds, it's got the whole page open. So just phenomenal with, with internet browsing. Word's phenomenal, Excel's phenomenal, things like that work perfectly on this thing. I have multiple tabs open, no problem whatsoever. It's got 16 gigs of that DDR4 RAM in it. Perfect for there as well. So when you look at break all that down, I mean, you just cannot go wrong for the cost of that, all right? I mean, that's just huge. Couple things too, the internet testing on the Wi-Fi, some people, and all these little machines like this say that they're bad. I got up to 120 megabyte, megabytes per second on my home one. Um, you know, I make it a little higher than that on like a Mac or something, but still, that's still plenty fast. And, I, and that was just mine. I mean, I, it could be slowing down at the time. I just did a couple of tests, so it might even be faster for you. Obviously, I've had no problems with it. I guess that's what I can tell you. Um, now, in the box, I'll just show you a picture of the box and what it comes with. It does come with an HDMI cable, believe it or not, for that small cost. It comes with the machine there. It comes with um, a mounting bracket, and I have it right here, but this mounts on the back of a monitor or something like that. And it comes with the power cable as well, um, small power cable. It's not that big at all, so really nice. I think the CPU is only like 14 watts or something. So, you know, it gets a little warm, I guess, but not hot, not loud or anything like that. Gaming, you can only play, you know, some basic games. I tried some basic games, and I was able to play those just fine. But if you start trying to play some of the, 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 the more modern titles and the higher titles, you're going to run into problems, obviously. This is not a huge GPU machine, but, but for the cost, I mean, it can do a lot more than you think. All right, if you look at my screen over here, I did a, a, a basically an SSD test. Now, this wasn't the one I added later. It's the one that comes in at the M.2 SATA. And down here, you can see it's 530 megabytes per second on the reads, 474 on the writes. So really fast for an internal SATA drive, obviously, in a computer like this. I mean, it's going to be right where you'd expect it to be. Fast enough for almost everything out there. I mean, obviously, it's not fast like, you know, some of the Macs and stuff, but fast enough for daily tasks without any hiccups at all. All right, so things like YouTube as well. Let's say you're, you want to get this for YouTube. You can see here, plays everything just perfectly fine. There's no stuttering, no problem rendering high resolutions. I'm only at 1080p in my monitor, but I've seen online reviews, gets really good reviews. It can do up to that 3840 and stuff, no problem. It's got enough power and juice in there to do that. So if you're a YouTuber and you want to just look at stuff like this, just like nice like landscape scenes and stuff, it's going to load it phenomenal. Obviously, I'm on a weird monitor here, so it may not look the best to you, but trust me, it depends on your monitor, obviously. But it just it's, it's flawless and it's very smooth video. All right, so if you look over here again, it's the processors, the N Intel N95 1.7 up to that 3.4. 16 gigs of RAM, it says it right in here. So and uh, newest version of Windows 11 on here as well, all for the 179 bucks. So who is this for? Who's gonna should buy this thing? Well, I didn't need more computers because I'm a testing person. I have a lot of them, right? And I almost have all Macs, but I was actually pleasantly surprised by this thing. It took me literally 15 minutes to get it set up out of the box. I mean, from the fact that I turned it on to creating a new account, it didn't just, it didn't take a long time at all. I mean, everything was ready to go right away for me. It was surprisingly good for a Windows machine and for such a cheap machine as well. So overall, the experience has been great. I had this thing running, like I said, 15 minutes straight. I was able to then instantly get into websites, do YouTube, look at scores. I mean, you know, do some basic tasks on Word and Excel and stuff like that, doing PowerPoint. I tested all those basic features and it worked phenomenally. Gaming, I tested a couple of games like Minions and stuff. It works the small games pretty good. But again, some of those titles, like I tried a racing game, like Dirt and stuff, and it did not work really well. But it was in the 30 or 20 frames per second. So you're not going to get the best there. But that's not what this is for. This is for a system that you want for TVs or for a projector or for just, you know, having a small computer that you can have ready to go. And it's, it's actually snappy. It booted like in 15 or 20 seconds from the time I turned it on to the time I typed my name in. Super fast boot as well. And uh, I just can't go wrong. So this is the 
Basically, it's the AK plus, AK1 Plus by Ace Magic, or let me see here, Ace Magic Mini PC. It comes in this little box, and uh, I just, at the end of the day, have nothing but good things to say about it. Now, I'm not doing a full review. I'm not telling you to go buy it. You do your own research here. That's what I always tell people because this is so soon. I, you know, I just got this a couple weeks ago. I don't know if it's going to go kaput in a couple weeks, but initially, it's been good, and uh, that's kind of my... You know, semi-review of it, I guess, but I call it a showcase. It's not a review, but I just wanted to show, like, I'm actually kind of excited about getting this thing, and I wasn't going to do a video, but, I mean, after using it, I decided to do it because it's just a refreshing thing for the cost. You know, it just worked out of the box, and I had no problem. So, anyways, I'm a Mac channel, and I'll do more Mac stuff, so watch my channel in the future, and I'll talk to everybody soon. Peace.